Hello guys, in this video I'll show you how you can customize the book cover image target. Now for customizing the book cover, I'll first create prefabs from some of my current game objects and after this I'll position them on top of the book cover. You can however customize the book cover image target as per your choice. So for this particular image target, I'm giving you a free hand that is you can do the customization as per your choice. So with that being said, for creating a new image target, I'll click on plus sign. I'll go in Vuforia engine, image target. I'll give this image target a name of book cover target. After this, I'll position the book cover on the extreme left hand side. Next, I'll change the type from from image to from database. I'll change the database to AR book database and from the image target drop down, I'll select the book cover image target. Next, as I mentioned few minutes back, I'll create prefabs from some of my existing game objects. Okay, so to do this, I'll first go inside the house image target and I'll first make a prefab of the game objects inside the house image target. Now, if I open the house image target, then you can see that all the game objects are separate entity. So I'll club them together inside a single empty game object. So I'll right click on the house image target. I'll then click on create empty. I'll give this empty game object a name of house objects. Okay, so the house objects and the house image target are at the exact same position. Next, I'll select all the components inside the house image target and I'll make them child of the house objects. So now the house objects game object contains all the components of the house image target. Okay, so next to create a prefab of this house object inside data files, I'll create a new folder. I'll name it prefabs. I'll open it. Next inside the prefabs folder, I'll drag this house object to create a prefab of it. So a prefab of a house object is created. Next, I'll go to the car image target and I'll just make a prefab of this car model. So I'll select the car model and I'll drop it inside prefabs. Now, since this car model is already a prefab, so over here Unity is asking us whether we want to create an original prefab or do we want a prefab variant. So prefab variant will basically means that this prefab will be a variant from the original car prefab. Okay. Now from these options, I'll select the original prefab. Now I could have used the original car model. So let me open the car folder. Okay, so as I was saying, I could have used this original car model, but after dragging this car model on top of the book cover image target, I again had to rescale this car model. So that's why I'm directly using this car model or I've created a prefab of this car model as this car model is already scaled down to the size which will fit on top of this image target. Next, I'll go inside the aeroplane image target and I'll make a prefab of the super spitfire and the cloud object. So I'll go in assets again. I'll open data files, prefabs. I'll first drag the cloud object to make a prefab of it. After this, I'll drag the super spitfire. I'll again click on the original prefab option. Okay, so after making a prefab of these four game objects, I'll go to the book cover image target. Next, on top of this book cover image target, I'll first drag the house object. So I'll select the house object and I'll make it a child of the book cover image target directly. Next, I'll scale it down a little bit. I'll place it somewhere over here. After this, I'll select the trees that is the clumps option and I'll position them on top of this image target. Next from the house object, I'll delete this grass surface cylindrical component. So before deleting, I have to unpack this house objects prefab. So I'll right click on it. I'll then click on unpack prefab completely. Next. I'll select the grass surface and I'll delete it. Okay. 
So instead of the cylindrical grass surface, I'll cover this entire book cover with a grass surface. So I'll do that later on. After this, okay, I'll just move this tree in front. So I'll shift it here and I'll shift this tree somewhere over here. Okay. After this, I'll drag the car model and I'll make it a child of the book cover image target. I'll scale this down. I'll rotate it and I'll position it near the house. I'll make some additional customizations in the house and the car. Okay. After this, I'll drag my super Spitfire aeroplane model. So the aeroplane model will start flying from this particular side and the clouds will start flying from the left hand side. Now I'll just make sure that the colliders of the cloud and the aeroplane are not at the same height. Otherwise both the aeroplane and the clouds will collide midway and they will get stuck in between. So similar to the aeroplane image target, the colliders of the cloud are below than the collider of the aeroplane image. Next, I'll create a plane game object. So I'll right click on the book cover, I'll go in 3D objects. I'll select the plane object. After this, I'll reduce the scale of the plane object. I'll change its Y value to 0.01 so that it is slightly above our image target. Okay. After this, I'll select the 3D scale tool and I'll reduce the Z scale of the plane. I'll also reduce the X scale of it. Okay. So this plane has completely covered my image target. Next, I'll apply the grass texture on top of this plane. So to do this, I'll go inside five seamless ground texture asset. Next, I'll open materials and on top of this plane, I'll apply this grass texture asset. So guys, I'll stop for now, but if you want to make some additional customizations on top of your AR book cover, then you're free to do that. Okay. But currently I'm just satisfied with this particular output. Okay. So that's why I'll end this video over here. And I'll see you in the next video.